Recently, MAC Cosmetics held their Spring Summer 2012 trans presentation in Aruba, and only the Buzz Weekly has the scoop on what's the hottest makeup trend this season. And to tell us more, I enlisted the help of makeup artist Diane John. Take a look. What were some of the biggest trends that you took from that presentation? Well, MAC basically presented four trends. They focused on two in Aruba. There was the athlete, then there was the nouveau, the awe-inspired and the neon look. So tell us a little bit about the athlete. Well, athlete sounds very much like athlete, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning very, very fresh, uh, minimal makeup, almost like if you have nothing on, but yet you have a fresh glow to your skin. So it's very unstructured, very clean, very minimal, but very healthy looking. So it's all about the skin. So what would be some of the products customers out there could use to get that look? Um, the mineralized skin finish powders and even the um, foundation is really good because it's very thin, it's very shea. I mean, it's buildable, but you can just use it very shea, you know, a light veil on your skin. And uh, you can use the Luna cream color base on top of your cheekbones or like that, just to add a little highlight and a little gloss. You can even touch it over your eyelids as well and, you know, have a nice glowy sort of a look. The next look you spoke about was Nouveau. What is Nouveau? Nouveau is still a clean look with the skin. It's all about the skin this season, right? Uh, glowing, beautiful look. But Nouveau is more of a romantic type of a look. So think romance. You have a very unstructured look as well with the Nouveau. But um, you have lip stains, cheek stains. It's just like, it's, your lips are not lined. It's just like a hint of color on your lip. Very stained look. So it's really about washes of color on your skin, like uh, strawberry colors, um, hues, apricots, peaches, that kind of thing. Very romantic and fresh, but in steam, in a steam form. And where can a woman wear these looks to? Is it like going out on a date, for dinner? Most definitely, anywhere any way you can use a look like that and make a statement with it. It's a very unpretentious look. Now at the presentation, Giselle focused on one of my favorite looks which was neon. Tell us a little bit about neon. Well I think neon is really tailored for the Caribbean woman. You know, it's huge pops of color on the eyes or the lips. So it is a fusion of, of like a greens and turquoises and blues. So that was beautiful, lovely cheeks, and then the lips were nude. You can pick your eye or your lip to feature, and then to focus on, and then you just put bright colors on, like flamingo pink on the lips, magenta um, on the eyes, turquoises, chartreuse colors, anything bright, think Caribbean and color. So another look they mentioned was the awe inspired and this to me was also a bit romantic and very dark and smoky. Tell us about awe inspired. Yeah. Well awe inspired seems to be different from the nouveau which was romantic but in a light fresh way. Awe inspired is still about the healthy skin glowing as usual. Awe inspired is about metallics. It's all about metallics. Where would be the best places to wear awe inspired makeup? Oh, uh, definitely for a night out, definitely to a party, an event, anything in the night I would believe. I don't see it in the day mm -hmm. too much because of the reflectiveness and the pigments and all of that. Unless you're really uh, a confident woman and want to rock that out, you could. But I definitely see it on the runways as well on our fashion shows. And all these trends you can check out the Mac store at West Mall and Gulf City. You know, hit up the makeup artist there and they will be able to give you all the products necessary to get these trends. Girl, I just